Hi guys, it's Kristen with Morelli Fit. Working in the custom meal plans department, one of the things we continually stress to you guys is the importance of meal prepping. So today, I want to show you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and prep one of my favorite meals. Turkey burgers, sweet potatoes, and asparagus. And while I do that, I'm going to share with you my five tips which will set you up for success. Okay, so the first step is to take your customized meal plan, and if you don't have one, this step is even more important for you because you need to plan up all of your meals for the week. This includes your lunches, your dinners, your snacks, and even your breakfast when you, if you're crunched for time. This will make sure that you have a plan and you're not struggling to find something when you're hungry, because this is when mistakes can happen, when you're starving and you look for the most convenient, often very unhealthy thing. Now that you have your meals listed out for the week, it's time to go into my step number two, which is to make a grocery list from those foods. You can take this grocery list with you to the store to help you stay on track and prevent you from throwing any unnecessary processed junk into your cart. As a general rule of thumb, stick to the outer perimeters of the grocery store because this is where you're going to find your unprocessed whole foods and the majority of the items that we've included on your custom meal plan. Okay, now that you have all your food, it's time to prep. Which leads me to my step number three, and that is to make sure that you prep your fruits and vegetables first, followed by your starches, and then your meats because this is gonna prevent any cross-contamination with any of your prepping utensils. Now for my vegetable, I chose asparagus, and I actually prepped these already, so let me show you that. All right. Here you have my asparagus, pre-chopped. I baked them in the oven with a little bit of garlic. All right, now for the starch. And I love sweet potatoes, so I'm gonna show you one of my favorite sweet potato recipes. Now if you like the skin, make sure that you wash a potato. But I don't, so I'm just gonna peel it off anyways. You're gonna slice up your potato into about one inch cubes and make sure they're roughly all the same size, otherwise they don't bake as evenly. Once you have that, you can place it in the, under the broiler, under high heat for roughly 12 minutes. Then you take it out, flip them over, and broil again for another eight to 10. Watch them though. Here we go. And I personally like mine a little bit charred because the flavor is amazing. So there you have it. I'm gonna show you how to prepare turkey burgers. And for that, I use 99% fat-free turkey, but you can use whatever you prefer. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your ground turkey, you're gonna put it into a bowl, and I usually mix it up with, I love liquid aminos. Um, it's kind of, it's a soy sauce, um, but without all the extra sodium. So I mix that directly into my meat, and then you can use your seasonings of choice, and again, I love garlic. So, mix all those up into your bowl, and then, Step four, and this is important, use a food scale to accurately weigh out your meats. To save time again today, I went ahead and pre-made some on the skillet. So, there you go. So now we have our meat option, our starch, and our vegetable. Which brings me to step number five. So we've already weighed out our turkey burgers before we cook them. So you can just set one of those in each one of these Tupperware containers. Now for the sweet potatoes, you're gonna need to weigh these out. So you can stick your Tupperware container on top of the food scale, zero it out, and then go ahead and measure these out. Now on the custom meal plan, we typically say one small five inch long sweet potatoes, and that's roughly the equivalent of four ounces. And then finally, for your vegetable. And we encourage you to have vegetables at every single meal, so go ahead and load up on those. And there you have it, one meal. Continue to do this for the rest of your Tupperware containers so you have a full week's worth of lunches. So now you have a week's worth of lunches prepped and ready to go. Do the same thing for your snacks, dinners, and even your breakfast if you have to. Use these time-saving and money-saving tips to keep you prepped and on track for the entire week.